This is David, W901Y. This is a Raspberry Pi 4. And we're going to install a new plot. We'll go to the Add Remove Software. GNU PLOT. Enter. And it'll search the repository. I've noticed that the repository is different for the Raspberry Pi 4 as compared to the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. Okay, the new plot is a command line. So we'll go ahead and click that. We'll go ahead and visit the project website. 5.26 is, hey, 5.27 in May. Okay, it's only one minor release different. That's a good sign. We'll go ahead and close that. Require packages. 173 and again the package manager will take care of this. We can also see dependent packages. Good new plot will provide some capability for us to explore how waveforms look. And there's quite a few packages that use new plot, so we'll just go ahead and stop there. So let's go ahead and start the install process of GNU plot. Oh, by the way, here's the short description down here in the bottom for the packages that are highlighted. It's only 127 kilobytes. Wants a password as usual. Okay, it's downloading the packages, it's running, starting the install process. And we're almost done. A new plot can take data as an ASCII um, data file and it has also built-in functions. Okay, we'll go ahead and quit here. Uh, let's see what other, if there's anything else that was installed besides those three. Nope. Okay. Now again, I find it best to do a reboot. We're done with the reboot. The new plot is a command line, so we will type it in G N U P L O T, and we can P plot sign. Oops, sign X. Hit enter, and here we are. The sine wave, we start here at zero, we have negative 10 in that direction, positive 10, plus or minus 1 in amplitude. To get out of it, we just quit. And that's the start of the new plot. This is David, WA901Y73 and QRT.